Greetings and welcome to The End last week, this week, and next week, the podcast companion to The End, the weekly newsletter that shines a light back on audio fiction shows after they've reached the finale of a season or the conclusion of the series. I'm your host and the curator of The End, Evo Terra. Let's get into it, shall we? Last week. The most recent issue of The End, the 40th, highlighted six shows in the season finales and finished series section, and three of them wrapped within the last week. Gareth and the Lost Island, a dramatized steampunk fantasy from Venomous Duck Media, published the season one finale on June 7th. It's also LGBTQ plus friendly and has actors across the spectrum. Listen to the 11 episodes of the first season in just about six and a half hours. The second season will start next year. Hex Noir, a dramatized horror show from Hilmer Lofsten, hosted the finale of the second season also on June 7th. Carve out about seven hours to listen to the current 18 episodes, because the third season, it starts in just a couple of weeks. The Strata, a dramatized sci-fi series from Mark R. Healy, makes another appearance on the show with the wrap of the eighth season on June 6th. 50 episodes right now, so give yourself about 22 hours if you're starting from episode one. The ninth season will start in August. This week. With every issue, I make two recommendations for great audio fiction I personally love. As with all things in life, your mileage may vary. Up first is Max and Ivan Fugitives, a dramatized comedy thriller from Story Glass. It's a hilarious look at the insane world of global politics that's presented in the highest of quality, which you can hear in this trailer. Coming soon to Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Oh, I'm sorry. On the outskirts of Cambridge, a mystery is uncovered which can only be solved by the world's most brilliant minds. Unfortunately, it falls to two completely unsuitable men. Max and Ivan. Ivan? Yeah? Here's the thing. I think I'm definitely having a panic attack. Oh, okay. Um, I- I've got some apps. Uh, Calm, Headspace, Digipill? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Is there a Digipill for uh, we downloaded four gigs of encrypted Russian files and as a direct result someone was murdered by a police officer and the only one who seems to know what's going on is basically a mute getaway driver who's breaking the speed limit to take us to the airport. We do not have much time. Thanks, mate. I guess that could class as general anxiety. Forget it. Story Glass presents Max and Ivan, Fugitives, a geopolitical comedy thriller in eight parts, featuring Max Aleska, Ivan Gonzalez, Adam Buxton, Alice Lowe, Gemma Whelan, Kyle Kinane, Stephen Mangan, and many more. The first three episodes drop on November 28th. Subscribe for free now at Apple Podcasts, Acast, or wherever you get your podcasts. Max and Ivan Fugitives is a complete story. Listen to all eight episodes in about three and a half hours. My next recommendation is an old favorite of mine. Shadow Magic is a narrated fantasy adventure from my friend and traveling magician, John Lenahan. Shadow Magic was first released back in 2006. Yes, 2006 back before there were trailers. So here's a sample from the first episode. Sidewalk Audio presents Shadow Magic. A podcast novel by John Linehan. Read by the author. Chapter 1. Aunt Neve. How come you never told me I had an aunt? That was the first thing I said. I know. My first question should have been, Are you all right, Dad? He didn't look all right. The light was awful, but I could see blood on the side of his face. I'm amazed I didn't say, What is that smell? Because it sure stank in there. I'm not talking about a whiffy locker room smell. I'm talking about the kind of stench that makes it so you can see your breakfast a second time around. Or most obviously, I guess, I should have asked, Where are we? Or her, why are we chained to a wall? But instead, the first question I asked when I regained consciousness was about genealogy. Well, Connor, Dad croaked, 
not even looking at me. The first time you met her, she tried to kill you. She had, too. Shadow Magic is a complete story with 31 episodes and about 9 hours of enjoyment. There are two more stories in the series, and I highly encourage you to get them as well, because John's a great writer and an outstanding storyteller. Next week. The latest issue of The End has one entry in the new season's coming soon section, but it doesn't start for several weeks. So I'm instead asking you to please consider becoming a supporter of my newsletter and podcast. This is very much a labor of love for me. So if you love the work and have a few bucks to spare each month, please go to theend.fyi slash support so I can add your name to the website and newsletter and also give you my undying love. Thanks in advance. More show trailers followed this announcement, but that's all for this episode of The End last week, this week, and next week. For these and the other audio fiction shows featured, highlighted, and coming soon that were included in the 40th issue of The End, including links to listen to the shows mentioned in this episode, please visit theend.fyi. I'm Evo Terra. Thanks for listening. Gareth and the Lost Island. Hi, I'm Gareth Mental, and I guess this is my story. When this all started, I thought I had everything I had ever wanted as the youngest professor in the history of the University of Arcana. That all changed when I got caught in a rather embarrassing situation with the wife of one of the richest merchants on the island of Draconia. Melinda! I know you're in there, my love. Open up, my little shrub. What rot? Pastor wasn't supposed to be back until next week. In my defense, I was really drunk that night. A toast to misplaced accent marks. The next day, I found myself saddled with this seemingly impossible quest to find the lost island of Mescal, or be permanently banished from my beloved university. Determined not to let me face danger alone, I was joined by my adoptive father, Dr. Trollis Granistaff, an omnisexual dwarf with a heart of gold. The only thing we dwarves do more often than drink ale is have sex, and we drink a lot of ale. And our Simeon Butler, my best friend, Henry. Are you suggesting I should shave my balls? <laughs> Together with the motley crew of the airship Glorious Dawn? Did she just call this guy Professor Mental? Well, let's be honest, he'd have to be to hire us. I suppose it doesn't hurt that the professor is good looking. God, yes, he's... I I mean, that has nothing to do with the job. Barely adequate cook. My people have a saying perfect for situations like this. Do not let the cargo ramp hit you on the ass on your way out. We set out on a globe-trotting adventure across Adronis. Along the way, we made both friends. Uh, hi, Gareth. Uh, fancy meeting you here. Okay, even I thought that sounded lame. And enemies, in the form of skeletons. Did I say skinny bitches? I meant that those bleached bones are really thinning. It's a good look for you. Pirates. Well, your mom's so fat, she could be causing the huge disruption rising towards us from the clouds below. And... An angry, venomous duck. Even with all of this happening, I still managed to fall in love. Mythical gods above and below. I have terrible timing. Yes. Yes, you do. Rain check? Most definitely, my lady. Join us on the rollicking adventure comedy, Gareth and the Lost Island. Gareth and the Lost Island, a dramatized steampunk fantasy from Venomous Duck Media, has reached the finale of the first season. The Strata. There's two of them following me. I know that for sure. 
As far as thugs go, they're not terrible at what they do. But they're not as smart as they think they are, either. One of them drags his right foot when he walks, and I hear it echo down the alley clear as day. The other has a slight whistle when she breathes. Sounds to me like one of those augments designed to filter out pollution. Not the most obvious giveaways, I'll admit. A cut above the usual scumbags I run into. And in the early days, it's the kind of thing I might have missed. But now, with decades of experience behind me, it's just too easy. I decide to make the first move. Get this over with. Okay, you two. Game's up. Get the hell out of here before I have to come back there and beat the living crap out of you. Hand over the package and we'll let you go. You'll let me go? Oh, that's cute. Come on, old man. Don't make this hard on yourself. Old man? Really? We don't have all day. Put the package on the ground and walk away. Why don't you come and take it instead? No one needs to get hurt. Just put it down. Hmm. It's a generous offer, but how about no? Last chance, old man. Do yourself a favor. Okay. I think this has gone far enough. The first bullet hits me in the chest, sends me staggering back a step. The next one cannons into my side, drops me to my knees. Ah, uh, what the hell? Most thugs pack rounds that bounce off my skin, or at worst, cause a little tearing. But these? These are full penetration. Serious shit. I don't know what pisses me off more. The fact that they're using such high-grade ordinance, or the thought of the repair bill once this is over. All right, you assholes. Shoot straight, will ya? Shit, look out! Uh, 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 Yeah, Rod, that's it. And spread the word. Don't mess with Rust. Ever. Anyone who, who tries is gonna... Oh, forget it. The Strata, a Beyond the Dark production. Visit thestratapodcast.com or listen to advanced episodes at patreon.com slash beyondthedark. The Strata, a dramatized sci-fi series from Mark R. Healy, has reached the finale of the eighth season. And that's it for the trailers. Once again, I'm Evo Terra for the end. Cheers!